As I don't know why I've always had an affection for Swiss tech products. They're not the most ergonomic or friendly looking little devices. This is one of them, and they're all, they're all very small. Um, I guess uh, the Swiss Army knife, etc., has got us uh, with some level of infection or anything with Swiss attached to it. But I do like these little tools. Uh, you know, this is a this is a uh, a wrench, uh, adjustable wrench. But you're not going to get a lot of torque out of it or anything along those lines. So you have to take that in consideration. It's 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 extraordinarily well made, but it is not it is not easy to grip, easy to handle, and I still like it. Uh, it's a 7 and one tool kit. Uh, actually, each one of these bits is another tool. I guess uh, I guess you could use that if you have a very, very, very liberal uh, definition of what a tool is. Uh, and uh, like most of the Swiss Tech products, it has the most unergonomic attachment for the screwdriver you've ever seen. How often do you get a screw that visible and that easy to reach uh, with something this big? <laughs> Uh, usually you need a little extension like about here and then maybe it becomes a more useful tool. But, you know, it's always a little nice. To, and, and it can be useful in very isolated incidents. You know, it could be when you've got an issue and, oh, I've got this in my pocket and you've got an issue to take care of. Eh, it's pretty cool. But, um, you know, I just I just like it. This is the X-Drive adjustable wrench. And, of course, it has the, the Phillips driver bit, the flat driver bit. And a flat three three thirty second screwdriver, Allen, and driver bit, the hook knife. It does have a couple of knives here. It's got a serrated knife, which seems relatively sharp. Uh, not never been, really been a fan of serrated knives, but I guess it could be useful in an isolated incident. And it has this a hook knife, which is basically what we call a belt knife most often uh, to get us out of uh, to get you out of an accident to cut the uh, the safety belt loose uh, in a in a situation where it's jammed to free yourself from the wreckage. Uh, so it's pretty cool. Now, if you I can't say this is a practical tool. I like it, uh, but uh, and you know it's something you might throw in your pocket from time to time with the belief that it probably is not going to fit 90% of the circumstances. You want to get a logical tool, you're probably going to go get one of the many, many other multi-tools from Leatherman to Gerber, etc. But, you know, it's, it's just it's, it's a good little talking point. And, uh, and I still got my and my affection for the stupid kludgy looking switch Swiss tools and they do work in the situations where you have the bit, the bit or piece you need it is it is very very practical I thought I'd give you a quick look at this uh, it's not that expensive I'll put all the details in the in the, uh, in the uh, description field below uh, and uh, if you want to get it yeah, you know it's not a it's not a bad deal like I said, and it might not be most practical, but it will be a, a talking point from time to time. Alright, I will talk to you later, and you have a wonderful day.